No sickness, toil, nor danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. Hi there, ukulele friend. I'm so excited to bring this collaboration with Quickly together. I've been following her channel for, I think it was about three years ago. She does more contemporary stuff than I do, and I really like her approach, which is markedly different from mine, you know, and, and so I really appreciate the differences that she lends, and I always try to learn from people that do things differently than I do. So give both our channels a thumbs up, subscribe to our channels if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell because it helps spread the ukulele love. You only need four beginner-friendly chords in order to do this song. The E minor is the most challenging one. I play it just like this. You can do an alternate fingering. You can leave your index finger off and play it with your pinky on the fourth fret of a C string. There are some advantages to this if you're going between a G and E minor. So why not practice it here in this song even though we're not going to go between G and E minor. You do need a G, however. I play mine with my peace fingers. And then my ring finger is going to be on the E string like this. I'll have a link up here in the cards and down below. There are more ways to play a G chord than that. So if you find that awkward, I've got some suggestions for you. C chord, don't think I need to say too much about that. And then an A minor, and I'm playing my A minor in this particular song with my middle finger on the second fret of the G string. This traditional folk gospel song is done in 4-4 four, four time, and we decide to take it in a different direction and do it in 3-4 time. What do I mean? Well, in each measure, instead of having four beats, you're only going to have three. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like this variation on a traditional work? To do a strumming pattern with this, you have to do a 3-4 strumming pattern. This is the one I chose. It's fairly typical. It's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's play it together on an E minor, and then I'll show you a little variation you can do with it. One, two, play it with me. In order to make maybe that more church-like sound, I'd like to use my thumb instead of my index finger to do that first down stroke. It gives a little bit more weight and it gives me the opportunity to slow down my strum a little bit more and make each string ring out, kind of like doing an arpeggio on a piano. So try it with me. It sounds like this. four verses. Each of them are four lines long and each of them has four measures. So we're going to use this toolbox diagram here to help us just practice the chords with the strumming pattern. I'll hum the tune along with it, get those pesky lyrics out of the way and just get everything solid on our ukulele. So come and join me. Let's play one of the verses together. One, two, three, ready, be. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
numbers. You need a pickup. What does that mean? Well, there's some words that happen that lead you into that first bit of like the box diagram, the little lead up vocally to get into that. So how we do that? I'll show you how it sounds and then we'll, I'll put some graphics with it and you can do it with me a couple times for each phrase or verse or whatever I'm calling them. One, two, three. singing home and then we're going to be putting the pickup in and then getting into the meat of it. So it sounds like this. Home. I know dark clouds will gather around me. Do it with me. We're starting right on home. One, two, three. Home. verse. Again, we've got the word home. And it sounds like this. Home. I want to sing salvation story. Do it with me. One, two, three. I want to sing idea. Oh, and guess what? To get into the last one, we're starting on the word home again. Hmm, there's a pattern here. Sounds like this. Home. I'll soon be free from every trial. Try it with me. One, two, three. Home. If you're a beginner, you've got everything that you need to be able to do this song, so you can just jump ahead to the play along. But if you want to try finger picking, that's up next. In order to do the finger picking pattern, your thumb, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger are all being used. Each string has a finger that controls it. The thumb is on the G string and it goes down. And Quick is using a low G instrument, and so I've just pulled up my low G instrument. I'll put links to both this beautiful instrument, which I adore, and the strings, which I also have very strong feelings about, good strong feelings that is, in the description below. So the thumb goes down, the other fingers go up, and so when you're, you're going to play all of them together, and it's kind of a pinching action. Your index finger is on the C string, your middle finger is on the E, and your ring finger is on the A string. And so you pinch them all together. That's the first step. Your thumb and three fingers go together, making all four strings sound. Then with your index finger, you're going to go C, middle finger, E, ring finger, A, middle finger back to E, index finger back to C and then you start the pattern over again, plucking all together. Let's just take our E minor and go very slowly, deliberately. Let's go very deliberately. One, two, three, ready, be, again. One, two, three, and one, and two, Go very slowly together and let's just do this box diagram. One box gets one pattern of the finger picking pattern. One, two, three, ready, be.
stranger or just wayfaring stranger is an American folk slash gospel song. It started showing up in about the early 1800s in America. It could have derived from a German folk tune uh, previously, but you know, it's kind of murky origins. Uh, we first get a glimpse of it in print during the Civil War, and it was uh, supposedly penned by a dying soldier in the nefarious Libby prison, and it was known as, I think, a Libby prison hymn. If you'd like to know more about the Libby prison, I remember reading a novel about it. Pretty horrible conditions there. I did have two of my relatives serve in the Civil War for the Union side. One of them received the Congressional Medal of Honor. This song may have been co-opted into the African-American tradition during slavery times because it talks about going crossing over to Jordan. And that is a reference to gaining your freedom that comes from the Bible. So that journey over the River Jordan and freedom are tightly associated with our horrible history of slavery that we had in the 1800s. Ultimately, this song is talking about the journey that all of us are going to have to make as we pass on to the next world. And um, you know, Joseph Campbell, I think, talked about it as being like the hero's journey or the everyman journey. That's why this song has been performed so much. Johnny Cash has done it. Amy Lou Harris has done it. Recently, it has appeared in a video game, The Last of Us, at the end credits. And it was also featured in the film 1917, as it was sung by Joss Slofit. I think is the way his name is pronounced. I'll put a link down below there to that version of it. Hope you enjoyed this history nerd section. Let me know. Should I keep doing these? One, two, ready, begin. I am a poor fair and stranger I'm traveling through this world of woe yet there's no sickness toil nor danger in that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my father I'm going there
I'm going there to see my Savior, to sing His praise forevermore. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I'm only going.